right, so welcome to today's job site. So if you uh, see this brand new nice dock that was built, um, there's some existing pilings that we're getting contracted out to remove. So there's a handful here to the right side of the dock and a handful to the left side of the dock. Um, I'm just going to get geared up here. As you can see, we're doing this on scuba. We're not doing this on surface supplied. It's only four to seven feet deep uh, of water depth. Um, having a hard hat team and crew and uh, all these guys to come out here and, and do this is uh, logistically it, it doesn't make sense and safety wise um, there's no issue with doing this there's no um, safety hazards whatsoever with what we're doing um, we've got comms I've got a tender we're shallow you can see me at all times um, we're pretty much just doing this in a few feet of water so um, we're gonna start off with these shallow pilings here and work our way towards those deeper pilings and so the saw that we're using here is a Stanley hydraulic saw um, standard for uh, commercial diving these things are super reliable pretty easy to maintain last for quite a long time as well so I'm just moving some of the rocks out of the way here so that I don't damage that chain I want to keep those teeth nice and sharp. And so just like that here, we're already through this piling. Cuts like butter. There's a huge difference in having a brand new chain and a, and a sharp chain and, and one that even after a handful of pile cuts, it, it'll start to dull pretty quick. Um, so we're moving over here to this, to this next one. Um, this piling and the post that's right next to it, which you guys will see here in a minute, those two are both tied in together. There's a stringer at the top uh, that's connecting those two um, that was just used as a support for the previous dock. And so um, you'll see what, what we mean here, but we gotta cut through this one and then take that one out too at the same time. This one's uh, taking a little bit longer to cut through. But, um, yeah, I mean, like I said, we're doing this on scuba. You know, if you guys have any uh, uh, opinions on, on that, if you know if you guys think this is strictly hard hat surface supply job, I mean, you know, let me know. But uh, let me know what you guys think. Um, I know that uh, most of these hydraulic tools are uh, considered surface supply to only work, but what we're doing here is... 100% safe. Uh, there's no issues here with, with what we're doing. I'm staying free and clear of the blade and uh, he can see me at all times and get me out if he needs to. Um, so we're through that piling. So that one's that one's through. Um, and as you guys might have been able to see there, I think we're just going to get one last little chunk here. Um, as you guys can see there, and you'll see here in a second, there's a stringer that's tying these two together. Right there, I'm just kind of giving them the okay, so we're, we're good there. We're done with that one through that piling, and I'm going to go ahead and cut this post out. And so, ironically, when we get close to cutting this thing out, you guys will see here in a minute that uh, maybe we didn't need to do that. skip ahead and give you guys a look here at what I'm talking about so so there it is I tried to push it over it almost broke and so I'm just trying to get this last little nub off here cut and apparently we could have just pulled it out um, felt like it was in there pretty good but I guess just uh, the tender pulling on it and me cutting it it loosened it up quite a bit so uh, we're starting to move a little deeper here to these uh, bigger pilings. Um, I mean, still, we're probably in like five feet of water here, so still very shallow, crystal clear water. Um, only reason it's not clear is because we're stirring it up, but um, as you guys will see, 
it, visibility is amazing here. I mean, we've seen all kinds of bass and perch and all kinds of cool fish. So, um, just skipping ahead. And also, you can see how much water this uh, these saws push, too. I mean, you can see all that gravel and everything just getting blown out and pretty much just creating these little craters. And so, I'm just really trying to lean into the pile here, trying to get some, some good leverage. That's helping out quite a bit. Uh, especially because you can't tell, but the lake bed here, we're on a pretty good slope. And all that gravel is pretty loose, so... It was kind of hard to dig your feet in and uh, get a good hold. So I think we'll just get one more cut here and then this one will be out. Yep, that one's all free and clear. Now let's try to get this little nub off, which I should have been a little more cautious of here. As you'll see, if you watch the tip of this blade, I'm going to just tap it just in the gravel, just barely. And that was... Right there was just enough to just dull the, the chain just a little bit. Um. So what I'll do is I'll just push this over to the tender and he'll get these out of the water and uh, start loading them up, bring them up to the, the trailer and the truck and throw them in there. So you can see the visibility is pretty good, probably like 30 feet. Uh, so. And those pilings are pretty easy to move too once you just get them cut and they're free. I mean, you can, like you just seen, I was pushing it with one hand, so. And so here we'll just get set up and start cutting on the next piling. Start moving a little deeper. Get things situated here. hoses and everything ran so that we're in a good comfortable spot and so so yeah just skipping ahead here we're almost through this next pile uh, this one took quite a while because after I hit that um, little just patch of gravel then um, dulled the blade up pretty good but uh, we're still still pushing through She's like, she's, she's right there. She's right there. Real close. I mean, like, any second now, this thing should pretty much just topple over, but it's just... It's really just hanging there. Okay, there we go. And we can kind of see the culprit there of uh, what was holding it, what was holding it together. Um, and so, yeah. And so, look at these pilings too. So here's a good look at it. You can see the the bark is still on these. Um, so these, I don't know how old these pilings are, but typically, um, your typical pilings won't have any bark. They'll actually be treated. Um, and so this might have. I don't, who knows, this might even even been before the creosote treating days, so, um, which is partially why it's taking so long to cut through these, uh, just the long, longer the pilings and wood sits in the water, just, I think the harder they get, they just begin to soak up water, so, um, at least in my experience, they, the older they are, the harder they are to cut, it just takes a little longer. Um, so here's another, here's our next piling, so we're, yeah, we're already halfway through this one. So yeah, and this one's this one's cutting pretty good. So just get it, get that chain unstuck there, kind of stuck there for a second. And so yeah, just trying to get back into that cut there. I think at this point it might have been starting to pinch the blade just a little bit. So, and, and like I said, there's loose gravel and we're on a slope. Um, so it's kind of hard to get some leverage, dig your feet in and, 
and uh, get some leverage to push that blade forward. If you don't have good pressure on it, it's not really going to cut anything. So. Almost done for this one. I think I had to swap out tanks there. There, that one goes. She's free. So you just hurry up and kind of push it off to the side and make sure it doesn't land on the saw here. So these things are just slightly negative uh, as far as buoyancy goes. Sweet, got that one cut. So, yeah, these things are pretty easy to push. I'm literally just pushing it with one hand right now. So, yeah, maybe that visibility is pretty awesome. Okay, so here we are at our next victim here. We're already about halfway through this piling, and it's a little smaller too. It's probably, I don't know, 8 to 10 inch piles, so should be able to cut to this one pretty good, but... But yeah, if you look at those pilings, I mean, you can see all those little knots and everything still on them. So it's pretty cool. This is a pretty cool to, to see, pretty cool job. Um, and uh, as far as the hydraulic packs go, uh, what we're using is just a 5 to 8 gallon per minute hydraulic pack. Um, typically, what you'll do is either put vegetable oil or biodegradable fluid in there so that, uh, one, it doesn't... Uh, leave any toxins in the water but also doesn't leave a nice big ugly sheen um, on the surface so uh, yeah we're just pushing this one along and uh, give you guys a look here at what we're doing topside so I'm just giving you a quick look he's sitting there ch chopping things up so that they're easy to bring up to the truck and trailer and uh, we can haul them out of here since this is a small remote lake uh, when does no good to have us uh, bring out a boat there's no boat launch or anything like that here so um, so that's what, what he's doing and got to bring those up to the, to the truck so. so as you can see here things are starting to get a little bit more difficult to cut through like I said a combination of the pile just being old been in the water for that long uh, nice hard wood um, and then also this this blade too is starting to get a little dull so you have to kind of hit it from a few angles and try to punch through it here so here's we're just skipping ahead we're almost through it this uh, this one took a little while so even though we're kind of cutting at an angle it just kind of let the blade go where it wanted to on this one because we're almost done. So we're good there. And this one, this one almost wanted to stand up on its own, which is pretty funny. So just push that one over there. Leave that one for tender. He'll come grab that and. Get that one set up and chopped up, ready to go. Okay, here we go. So we're at the last one here. Be the last one for the day, and then I just gotta get out and help do some, some cleanup work, and then it turned out to be a pretty, pretty easy day, pretty fun day. Yeah, I mean, if uh, any of you guys got questions about uh, commercial diving or, um, you know, surface applied or scuba or anything like that, anything about running hydraulic tools, uh, pneumatic tools, anything like that, let me know. Um, but yeah, there's a there's a cool look at that, that saw there. There's a nice good look at it. Cool view, I should say. So, we're almost through this one. This one, of course, the last one wanted to be a little stubborn. So, I kind of, kind of had to keep stopping and uh, reposition and make sure we're going in the, the right slot there. Just kind of use the sawing motion and get this last one out. So 
you really got to put pressure into it. You really got to lean into it. If you're not, it's it's not really going to do anything. So there, I'm just kind of trying to brace myself and put a little more pressure behind that saw there. Yeah, she's really dull at this point. So this was the last one of the, of the day, and get this one cut, and then we're out of there. Well, anyways, guys, thanks for watching. Really appreciate it. You know, let me know um, if you got any questions. Like, comment, subscribe. Uh, if you got any questions or any input, drop them down below. And then, uh, love to talk to you guys about it. So, stay safe and dive safe.